what's up guys we are here with the next resort video this is the one you could see well one of the ones you could see in the distance from our farm resort which is just over there and before i start this video i'm going to clarify that we did actually make this before the minigame mm -hmm. of hunger games came out That's true. so obviously we made our own little arena and things which we'll be showing you we'll do a walk around and show you the different things so on each of the four sides, there's a set of levers like this, so it spawns a cow or something from a cow. And it can sp spawn swords, as well as that one, the Devastator. Wooden planks or spiders. And then we'll come to the next set of levers here. It can spawn some stone. Uh, I think it's, yeah, wool or meat skeletons or axes and we have an unbreaking axe there if we follow crystal mm -hmm. oh was it here i was it here we need to build a wall here we're going to um then the here is the third set we have zombies torches Good. Melons and potions of poison. Oh, we need to put some more in. I'll do that now. Mm -hmm. Potions of poison. Where so this one is a bit cheeky because it's a double light. No matter, there's two negative ones because it's a splash potion of poison. When you actually activate it it breaks on the ground so when they stood there waiting for you, us to give them something it can poison them so obviously we walk around and as soon as someone comes to one of them we give them a random object of our choosing hello we're at the final set here we have wool rabbits guardians and fishing rods i believe we have a powerful yeah um Really, and the guardian usually goes towards the water, obviously. So if you want to get the melon, obviously you don't break the plant; you just break the melon. Then you have to go through a guardian, most likely. Proceed up these ladders. It's a bit of a claim. My God, you cheated! So now we will be giving an example of the Hunger Games at some point in this video, but first we will show the actual lodge bits. So I think the cart's at the top again. Okay. I built this as an easier way for someone to get up. If we just stand there and watch, we should be able to see any second now, now, and then they'll stop. If you hop out, I'll send it back down to the bottom. Here we have arrows, bows, and feather falling boots because you can look down and aid the people at the bottom, or you can attack the people. So you can either shoot the mobs or shoot the people. Feather falling is because if you, like this, if you fall down, you then have to take part in the Hunger Games. You can't just be let back out, even if you're staying in one of the lodges. So we have this lodge here. Of course, we've got a lovely view. You can actually see the farm resort. And I think, yeah, you can see some of the arena. Then if we go through here is our second lodge. There's only two lodges here because it's more about the actual Hunger Games than the staying. He has stood on his lungs. Then if you pay extra, you can actually have an infinity bar. This is our lodge here. We have our music player. 
And then we have our pimps. So, I'm going to go into survival. And why am I on such low health? Am I allowed to put my diamond armor on? No. Right, I won't use any of that stuff. So basically, I get let in. Then I've got 30 seconds ish, ish to run. Then we won't have a full 30 seconds. Then the fireworks will go off. And then that's it. We're in the Hunger Games. Oh yeah, there'd be more plays, but there are dangers other than just that. Got some wooden plank. Thank you. I knew you were gonna do that. So the aim is to survive three days and three nights. Oh, I got, I got Ultimo Death. I got the Unbreaking Axe. So obviously it hasn't been a full day yet, but I've already got some good stuff. If, there we go, we're at night. Some monsters will now start spawning in here. And if we feel that you go into the things too often, then we can just not give out to you. Ow, ow, no, no, no. Ooh, touches. I died. From dropping two blocks, I'd add. We're good. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> I need to, there is a way for me to get back in. I'll take off. off more. I should not have died from that fall. That was strange. I'm going to be honest with you here, I did not even mean to put them on. Uh huh. Right, I'm gonna have some melon. <laughs> I feel I'm pretty set. I don't feel I need anything from you. Oh, rabbit's nice though. So, we have survived a day and a night. I'm going to be really brave, I'm going to use that one. I'm going to be really brave and I'm going to go down here. With the torches I got. So I know there's going to be some good stuff down here. Guarded by nothing other than a skeleton. Ah! Oh, we got it. So now we've got a full set of chain armor, which isn't very good, but it's better than nothing. Now, what you can do is you can build like a little shelter. We're gonna. 
think we're gonna get an example of shooting play the players above having the power. Oh my god. I was like right next to me. Oh my god. Ow, like that. So they can take aim, in which case you're probably gonna need to hide. But I'm just gonna take one thing off this abnormally large tree. Woo! I landed like on my toes. I just moved to the side of that. You should be trying to help me. I am out. Never mind. You're a mentalist. Mental. So as we can see, I don't have quite enough stuff to make a shelter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up slight, just a little bit in here. And, you know, this could seem stupid when I could make a sword, but I'm actually going to make a her. A wooden her because I'll break that and take it with me. In fact, I could just use this. That is a creeper. So, obviously, we've got more grief enough as well. So that, oh, we're at night now. So this is usually when most players feel sorry for you and decide to actually help. As this is the most difficult time to survive. And I'm actually going to craft some bread with this. So this is, I've survived two days and one night. If we could fight some spiders, that would be good. Oh! Put yourself in survival. No! Put yourself in survival, you fell in. How? Uh, you click on your, you click on your name, there we go. Do you want a weapon? No! I gave you a weapon. And I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you some rabbit, I'll give you some rabbit, some rabbit, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Yeah. Yeah. We're on the final day. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove these torches. I'm gonna eat. Seems as though some cruel person shot me with an arrow many times. So now I'm gonna kill the spider that should be here. That's not. Oh my god. That spider good. I don't know, but I'm gonna go hunt the other player and show you what it's like when we have her in our sights <laughs> ow, 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 no, 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 I, I was joking I was I'm not stupid. And I wanna have him beat. She's a bad tool. <laughs> I gave you a thing to sing with. I gave you an axe to survive with. Oh, this is funny. No. 
Yeah. Again, a two block high drop killed me. Oh. So, so there we go. I actually lost overall, but it was all good fun. So congratulations, Crystal. You cheaterly won. I don't actually know where all my stuff's going, and I kind of need it. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> of course I do. Yeah, but imagine if I left that line about and we played it again, someone just stumbles across loads of diamond armor. I need to put that axe back, don't I? Uh, I'm a fishing rod, you got to get it off, yeah. I got No, I had that anyway. Oh. And my armor. To be fair, I didn't have the armor. Is there anything else I got? Oh, wool. Uh, we can just replace it. There we go. I'm gonna put this back down in the cave. This guy should give you an idea of how dark it actually is once you're down in the cave. I'm thinking of other goodies I could put in there. Some fish. We are actually gonna go and put, go ahead and put this axe back. So obviously it's enchanted, so. We will head back to the starting area now. Where are my boots? I don't know. I'm gonna stand under this. Glorious. Anyway, so guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video with me and with Crystal. So, Bye. we'll see you in the next result video.